New tonight, an I-Team exclusive. A Michigan couple traveled to Georgia to have a woman who said she was a doctor treat the husband's cancer. Well, Fox 5 senior I-Team reporter Del Russell investigated who this so-called doctor really is and what happened during that treatment. Del? Russ, we found no evidence that Azalea Blaylock, who goes by Dr. Green Soul Azalea, is a medical doctor. But Mike and Valerie Hamlin didn't know that when they hired her. I was angry, I was bitter, and I cried. I said, she played with my husband's life. Valerie Hamlin is still mad about what happened to her husband, Mike. They were married for 37 years. In 2021, he was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. She says he was given six months to a year to live. Mike didn't want to undergo chemotherapy. From their home in Michigan, they heard about a woman named Azalea through a friend of a friend. Valerie Hamlin says Azalea introduced herself as Dr. Azalea Blaylock. I thought that she was a doctor because that's the way she introduced herself. It's Dr. Green, so Azalea. On her web page and social media, she calls herself Dr. Green Soul Azalea. She's even listed as a doctor on her business card. What's up, Azalea? How y'all doing? On social media, celebrities like Sinbad sing the praises of her home-brewed liquid chlorophyll treatments. I'm Azalea. Nice to meet you. The IT met Azalea Blaylock. We were undercover buying one of those chlorophyll bottles she was selling online. But during our conversation, she said she worked with 4,500 cancer patients, as well as COVID patients. All the COVID clients that I saw, I put the radiation test on them. They had high levels of radiation. So I treated them for radiation. Oh, wow. And then they got rid of the COVID. Valerie Hamlin says her husband decided to try Azalea Blaylock's holistic treatment for his cancer, hoping for a miracle. She said that she had cured thousands and thousands of people and that she probably could help Mike also. In a race against time, they left their home in Detroit, Michigan, and drove to Atlanta to begin treatment. It wasn't cheap. Valerie Hamlin says they paid Azalea Blaylock a total of $12,500 to start the holistic treatment. That included housing. On her website, Azalea shows various treatment packages for those overcoming cancer, ranging from $99 up to $11 million. Valerie Hamlin says when she went back to Michigan for a few days, her husband signed this document with Azalea Blaylock, stating he would pay a total of $45,000 with absolutely no refund for a 90-day treatment to starve the cancer out and get the body cleansed and into balance. The document also states her services do not take place of your medical doctor and we do not promise a cure. She knew that he was already full of meds, pain pills. He didn't know what he was doing. What the Hamlins didn't know is that Azalea Blaylock isn't a licensed medical doctor. We checked and couldn't find any medical license of any kind for Azalea Blaylock or Azalea Greensole. This is a cell phone video of Mike Hamlin and Valerie in Atlanta starting his holistic treatment. He was getting IV fluids. It was during the COVID pandemic. Azalea Blaylock is in the room shooting the video, wearing no mask and no gloves. I did not shake her hand. I had to remind her we're in the middle of a pandemic. Latrice Ellis is the nurse practitioner hired to give Mike Hamlin his IV treatments. She had never met Azalea Blaylock before and was stunned as she watched Azalea care for Mike. She was checking his blood sugar, um, no gloves, uh, did not wipe his finger with an alcohol swab and she was using a straight pen, not a lancet. Then she says, Blaylock offered Mike a special drink. She told him uh, she needed him to drink all of it and also expressed to him that once you drink this, this is what's gonna make you throw up all the cancer. That was quite alarming. Those alarms kept going off. Latrice Ellis says she treated Mike Hamlin four times over the next month and worried about his dramatic weight loss under Azalea Blaylock's care. Ellis finally raised her concerns to Valerie and Mike about his treatment and that she couldn't find any evidence that Azalea is a doctor. And when she said that, I just cried. I said, are you serious? The Hamlins packed up and went back to Michigan August 19th, only a month into the treatment. Mike died three weeks later.
Latrice Ellis filed a formal complaint with the Georgia Medical Board, accusing Azalea Blaylock of practicing medicine without a license. The Medical Board does not comment on investigations, but says it investigates all complaints. Valerie filed a police report stating Azalea Blaylock told her she could treat cancer patient, but she found out the suspect was not a real doctor. Right now, I am so sad and bitter and mad at her because now I don't have my husband out of 41 years. He's gone, which I feel like he would have had more time if we hadn't went down there. So we wanted to talk to Azalea Blaylock about her treatment of Mike Hamlin and exactly what kind of doctor she claims to be. Why do you call yourself a doctor? I'm okay. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No comment. Excuse me. No, this okay. is an important question. Why do you tell people you're a doctor? Because I am. <laughs> Later, Azalea Blaylock texted us to say she never claimed to be a medical doctor. I am a holistic healer based on ecclesiastical law. She sent us pictures to show how she treated Mike Hamlin using a variety of holistic methods. And she shared a text in which she claimed to have ended her services because the Hamlins were guilty of a breach of agreement to pay remainder balance. Do you believe she is a con artist? Yes, yes, I do. Now there's more. Next, we explore the product Azalea Blaylock sells called GK chlorophyll that helps everything from acne to cancer, according to the label. We got a sample test to see just how much chlorophyll is in it, and we'll have the results and more Wednesday night at 10. Russ? Well, we'll look forward to, to seeing you on Wednesday night. I mean, stage four pancreatic cancer is a, certainly a, a desperate situation, and you can understand uh, the trauma that she's going through. Yes, but yes. You showed us the fine print, though, that he signed, where it says, you know, not this doesn't substitute right. going to the doctor, not promising a cure. Right. That's that's in there. And um, we weren't able to talk to Mr. Hamlin because he had passed away by the time we did the interview with her. She says it was signed when she left town. Um, but as I said, it's, it's hard for us as reporters because we can't talk to the, sure. the original source. But, uh, yeah, the document is in there and the treatment is all for there for everyone to see. Well. Sorry for his loss and that she feels taken advantage of. Look forward to your following report. We, uh, there's more to come. It's interesting. Dale, thanks. We'll be right back. Thanks.